Amazon recently got smacked down by the National Labor Relations Board after they had proposed installing video cameras to keep an eye on ballot boxes in the state of Alabama where there is currently a crucial union election taking place. Now voting has already ended and the process has now moved on to tallying those votes. Hopefully in a few days we'll find out whether or not the warehouse workers in Bessemer, Alabama voted to unionize. And if they have, it's really, really great news. And hopefully it will galvanize other workers across the country. Now, Amazon has engaged in all sorts of disinformation campaigns. They've forced their workers to attend anti-union meetings. They've put out all sorts of anti-union literature. And now we're learning that they were trying to keep an eye on the ballot boxes in an effort to kind of keep an eye on their workers. Really, that's that's what they were planning on doing here. Now, approximately 5,800 workers at the facility in Bessemer were eligible to vote to join the retail, wholesale, and department store union. Vote counting began today at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Today is March 30th, but the final tally may be days or hopefully not, but weeks away as Amazon and the union can you know contest these ballots. And that will happen. So right now, behind closed doors, this is not open to the public. As they're going through the ballots, both sides can dispute whether a ballot is uh, eligible to be part of the tally. And then after that, what will happen is uh, they're planning on streaming uh, the vote count for the general public, uh, which is pretty exciting. And um, Amazon, just to give you more details about the uh, cameras that they were uh, trying to implement, asked the NLRB, uh, to change or reset the security locks to the storage room's door where the ballots will be held. Provide Amazon um, and the union with an electronic or physical log of when the storage room door is open during the counting process and use tamper proof tape on the ballot boxes or storage room door to quote, ensure no unauthorized access to the envelopes, ballot boxes or storage room occurs. And uh, just to remind you all, Amazon is pretty terrified. They haven't really faced a serious union drive since 2014 when a small group of its maintenance workers were considering unionizing in the state of Delaware. They ultimately voted against unionizing, but we're not talking about a small group here. We're talking about, you know, nearly 6,000 of their workers in Bessemer, Alabama, the majority of whom are African American. Ida. Hmm. Um, it's so funny, Amazon, Uber, Lyft, uh, they are really, <laughs> it's so funny how they've become so involved in, um, before they used to hide, remember they used to hide. Like they, we didn't, we would like suspect that the corporations are like poking their nose in politics. And now they're like, hey guys, we brought burgers, you know? And it's just so funny how, you know, the American people fight for that. You know, there are people who fight for these corporations and they fight for these billionaires and they, cause they're aspirational and they believe that they can can do it too. And it's really deluded people into this messaging and now they, they're so caught up. But of course, the majority of them are black, right? Of course, the majority of them are a member of members of the black community in this country because, you know, that they're, Black people in this country are always, you know, are always. That's what happens when you have, you know, systemic racism and people are marginalized. Those that are the that are always last in receiving resources and opportunities are the ones that suffer the most. So I just, I hope. I mean, I can't even say what I really hope because it's so it's considered problematic. You know, you and I had these conversations offline, but it's just I really hope there's an awakening in this in this country and I hope that people in Alabama are paying attention to their local politicians and the people who push for this stuff that affect them because that at the end of the day that that's what it what it all boils down to is who you have who's representing your interests.
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, you're absolutely right. And what I thought was um, interesting about this story is how Amazon thought that it would be safe in a right to work state like Alabama. Um, but they didn't do their research because Bessemer, Alabama actually does have a, a history with the labor struggle. And so um, they ignored that history or they, or they overlooked it. And uh, as a result, um, now they're dealing with um, the most serious uh, union drive that they've ever had to deal with. And I really, really hope they succeed. Um, but I also want to emphasize that uh, this struggle in Bessemer has spread not just throughout the country, but throughout the world because Amazon workers in Germany recently striked. Uh, they decided to engage in a strike uh, to demand uh, higher pay. Um, so, you know, they obviously get paid uh, with the euro, but uh, if you uh, convert their money into US dollars, they get paid about $14 an hour. And uh, these uh, German employees are like, no, we're gonna strike. We deserve more, especially considering how much uh, profit Amazon has been able to make during the pandemic. And so uh, they engaged, uh, they're, they're currently on a four day strike that started um, on Sunday and hopefully they get what they want. But I really do think that this is uh, an idea that is spread across the world. And um, it, if it empowers workers, I'm all for it. And I, and I hope the ultimate result is that uh, these workers in Bessemer, Alabama succeed in unionizing. Um, and and by the way, one other thing I wanted to mention, you know, Amazon has tried to put out this um, campaign about how they're they're paying their employees fifteen dollars an hour. We're so great to them, but. A, they were forced <laughs> through pressure by Senator Bernie Sanders to pay $15 an hour to their workers. And that's not the only thing this union drive is about. The Bessemer, Alabama employees who are trying to unionize right now wanted more protections during the pandemic, right? They wanted a safer work environment. They wanted to ensure that the workload wasn't so overwhelming um, that they were unable to take bathroom breaks. You guys, their bathroom breaks are timed. They time their bathroom breaks. I mean, Justin Amash talking about oh, the dystopian future if we have to have vaccine passports. No, we're living in yeah. in a dystopian environment right now where people are terrified to go to the bathroom while they're working. Like that's crazy. Yeah. But that's what they get so. for the, the misconception that people from Alabama are for some reason ignorant or there's always a joke. You know, as a comedian, you hear it a lot about people making fun, fun of places like Alabama and Arkansas. And I think it would be beautiful if Alabama is the jump off point for something that's gonna be global, that's gonna make a, an impact on a company that's owned by a man who is now a trillionaire. Yeah, look, I. It doesn't surprise me that something like this would happen in a red state. Florida just overwhelmingly passed an increase in their minimum wage to $15 an hour. You see progressive policies polling really, really well in red states. And and it's not that difficult to understand the disconnect. Stop allowing politicians to divide us based on culture war talking points. At the end of the day, we're workers, right? It doesn't matter if you're a worker in Alabama, worker in California, worker anywhere in this country. If you're a worker, you know, let class consciousness lead your thinking about your fellow Americans because there's a very obvious um, vested interest to divide us based on other characteristics. We may have differences, there's no question about it. I'm, I'm sure I have significant cultural differences um, with people in Mississippi or Oklahoma or Alabama, what have you. But there are some significant similarities as well. We all wanna live good lives, we wanna have dignity, we wanna have good paying jobs, we wanna be appreciated. We wanna provide for our families, right? At the end of the day, we're workers and we need to focus our attention on fighting those who continue to keep our fellow Americans and ourselves in poverty rather than fighting one another. Um, we Americans keep playing into what 
the elite want and we got to stop doing that. So I'm really, really excited and happy for the efforts in in Bessemer, Alabama, but also for the workers in other states who are now approaching the retail union because they're interested in forming a union in their workplace as well. So I love it, all the power to them. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.